Located on the Peace River near Fort St. John in northeastern British Columbia, the Site C Dam is one of the largest and most controversial infrastructure projects in Canadian history. It has been under construction since July of 2015, when workers first broke ground on this ambitious hydroelectric project, making a significant milestone in BC's long-standing effort to expand its renewable energy capacity. The dam once completed will stand as the third hydroelectric dam along the Peace River after the WAC Bennett and the Peace Canyon dams. This large scale development promises to generate approximately 1,100 megawatts of clean power, enough to power about 450,000 homes annually. BC Hydro, the company overseeing the project, describes Site C as essential for meeting future needs in the face of growing demand. As British Columbia's population expands and as industries increasingly shift toward electrification, Site C is being promoted as a solution to provide stable, low carbon electricity for decades to come. However, this project comes at a significant environmental and social cost to create the reservoir that will feed Site C, a substantial area of land will be flooded. Approximately 5,500 hectares of land will be submerged. This land includes not only forested areas, but also fertile agricultural land, critical ecosystems, and wildlife habitats. And there you can see in the background, the actual flooding that is occurring right now. They've had the Site C Dam now blocking the Peace River for two weeks. The Halfway River is now a lake um, and it goes way up into the ravines, way back up in here now. So there's another new lake. And just to show you what it's looking like back here. So the lake, it, or the river itself, which is now um, becoming a lake, is three or four times the size it was. So all this farmer field is all being flooded now. There's Sada, not happy campers. This is about 35, 40 kilometers above the dam. And it, the flooding will continue a good 45, 50 kilometers above this as well. The dam's construction will flood roughly 83 kilometers of the Peace River and several of its tributaries, transforming their part of the landscape permanently. For many, the flooding represents more than just the loss of land. Indigenous communities, including the West Moberly and the Prophet River First Nations, have long opposed the project. The land is to be submerged holds deep cultural, spiritual, historical significance. It includes areas used for hunting, fishing, and gathering, all of which have been integral in Indigenous ways of life for generations. Legal challenges have been mounted by the First Nations, asserting that the Site C violates their treaty rights and threatens their traditional practices. Furthermore, agricultural advocates and environmentalists have raised concerns. The Peace River Valley is home to some of the most fertile farmland in the province, and its loss is a point of contention. This region has the potential to support significant food production and the impact on both local and provincial agriculture is the major point of criticism. Additionally, environmentalists have pointed to the ecological damage. The flooding will destroy forests, wetlands, and riverine ecosystems that support various species, some of which are already at risk. Despite the concerns, the project has continued to move forward, and as of now, it's estimated the Site C Dam has cost around $16 billion. The budget has ballooned from initial estimates, sparking further controversy. While some argue that the dam represents a critical investment in the province's future, others maintain that the economic, environmental, and social costs outweigh the benefits. The Site C project was expected to be completed by 2025, but is already filling the reserve as of September of 2024. The power generation schedule will begin shortly thereafter. Once operational, it will provide long-term, low-cost energy for the region. But the legacy of Site C is construction, opposition, and profound transformation it brings to the land will remain a significant chapter in British Columbia's history for years to come. Having fished above the dam 
and done very well in the past. This is not only exciting to see the transformations happen, but it's also sad because some of these major areas on the Peace River have been some of my favorite destinations for years, and they're now gone. I hope you get a little insight of the Sightsee Dam flooding.